yes, I know you're seeing the notification. I know you saw this on your recommended. This might be the time we could finally pop champagne. Let's get crazy. Because it looks like my favorite YouTuber of all time, Tipster, is finally gone. And there's just so many things to cover. So many things have been happening over the last 72 hours online. I'm just trying to cover everything all at once. I'm like, go, go, go. And if you're new and you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. We're getting close to 500,000. Let's get right into it. Let's set the playing field. Mudahar drops a video about Kefals. Long story short, Mudahar exposed Kefals as a weirdo, as a creepy individual, and someone who now we can say with certainty scammed her audience. If not scammed it, allegedly, she spent $100,000 that was supposed to fund her fight against injustice and transphobia. And she used those $100,000 to get an apartment, to buy drugs. I'm talking fentanyl, crack, heroin, I believe as well, a $2,000 chair. And to this day, two years after the GoFundMe went live, she still hasn't sued the police department. She hasn't done anything. Mudahar and the artist, Just a Warm, got a lot of unjustified hate. The artist who drew the original thumbnail, how to either delete his page or I don't know if it got reported. Long story short, Kefos and her disgusting community were harassing Mudahar just to warn his wife and anyone who dared go against the great almighty heroin lover Kefos. Why is this relevant on the Tipster video? It's because Tipster and Kefos are friends. I will not be surprised if they met up and I would not be surprised if Tipster is cheating on his wife with Kefos. But at least once per month he gets caught in 4k flirting with an e-girl sometimes messes up and the girl's like 16 that's documented he apologizes i'm not calling him a predator by the way i don't think tipster is a pedophile so kefels and tipster are very lovey dubby they're always interacting with each other they're always flirting back and forth so when kefels got exposed for being a scammer allegedly guess who came to her defense the one the only tip man him crying and panicking and deleting everything and the reason why i think he's finally going to be gone so this goes back two days ago and this person says holy shit tipster deleted 24 million views from his channel we go to his social blade you know he was getting 800 views in a day and then 200 and the day that the mudahar video drops he out of nowhere deletes 24 million views from his channel what could he be hiding i don't know but i know this means that he's finally hopefully leaving the platform i mean if you search tipster right now his channel doesn't come up it just gone <laughs> it's just nowhere to be found there's like a million videos that pop up before his i really hope tipster finally leaves youtube i mean no one was watching he was making like ten dollars per month so it was just a waste of his time no one was watching if i ever fall off this much you guys will never hear from me i would have been like yeah 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 i'm out he's just gone he decided to disappear Pretty convenient timing, if you ask me, because of the Keffels video and who was friends with Keffels, tipster. And if you still don't believe me, well, let me play you this clip. The 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 franchise that invented the term jiggle physics. Oh shit! Oh, okay, shit. we love Gooner games. Oh fuck, I'm being so horny. Thank you, Daddy. I'll shut up. We love us some Gooner games around here. Okay. Why would you ever have this as a soundbite? You have to program this shit, okay? And I promise you guys, I am absolutely not getting any joy playing this freaks audio same weird shit we love gooner games oh fuck i'm getting so horny thank you daddy i'll shut up i am willing to bet everything i have in my bank account which is approximately five dollars with 50 cents i am very willing to say the tipster has definitely played with his tip with that audio <laughs> this guy's an insane weirdo freak loser He's the reason why I'm ashamed to say that I'm Latino because Tipster is Latino. He's just giving us a horrible reputation. He does not represent us. We're not like him. He's somewhere doing freaky ah things. Once again, his wife could come in at any second and hear this. If I even see one, one Tipster defender under this comment section, I will dox my haters. I can't wait till someone takes that out of context. And it's like, oh, here we have sensitive society saying he will dox his haters. Keemstar tweeted this about two hours ago, two down, one, to go talking about the horse lover that is Vosh. Don't talk about horses or my little pony near him. He might get a little too excited. Next one that's been crossed out, Keffels. Everyone knows exactly what this disgusting individual has done. And the last one that needs to be taken out, this man. And of course, if you follow me on Twitter, you saw me reply and I said, I won't stop until Tipster goes down. And someone responded with, please don't. If he falls, he'll probably cause an earthquake. <laughs> 
And then I found this tweet from Mudahar's wife, Do Jangles. But if you guys saw that I was a tipster hater, she takes it to a whole different level. And that's extremely based and red pill and taco pilled. Announced his retirement for the 20th time from drama content. Cut his nose to spite his face by wiping 24 million views and making it harder to search his channel. Yet again, it's pretty much over so here we have tipster saying this i just ignored their bs i don't do drama content anymore pause pause what's this isn't this drama i mean if i get a thousand views or 900 with a hundred thousand subscribers you guys will never hear from me again at that point i have fallen off it's ggs it's over time to get a real job i mean this is drama content what do you mean and if you're like oh well sensitive this dm is from months ago isn't this drama his whole channel is a drama channel there's nothing wrong with that i'm a drama channel i'm a commentary channel i keep you guys in the loop whether that's pop culture celebrities or niche influencers like tipster uh i try to cover everything because i genuinely enjoy this and it's fun sometimes i have w takes and w videos sometimes i have l takes and l videos uh it's how you respond to those that build your reputation unlike tipster which doubles down even if he's wrong i just ignore their bs i don't do drama content anymore and we try to keep this place a drama free zone now which i know you've been gone for a while so you didn't know it's best you just ignore them they're not worth our energy what if i told you this is a newer one this is from may 11th so like three days ago and it seems like is she a moderator for the tipster I don't even know, but she says, Tipter shared with us a few days ago that he's not interested in covering drama anymore and deleting all of his old drama videos. He wants to move on from that and do different stuff now. So if drama videos were not getting you anywhere, what else are you going to make? Cooking with Tipster? Working out with Tipster? How to lose weight and five easy steps featuring Keffels? You're over. You're cooked. You're finished. You need to focus on your real job and give up on YouTube because it's over. And I know that that sounds mean. And I am one of those people that say, follow your dreams. You can do absolutely anything you set your mind to because I did it and I believe in all of you. But Tipster, you're 40 years old, wrap it up. And it's like, what is YouTube going to be without Tipster? anymore i feel so empty i don't think i'll ever be the same what kind of content am i gonna make next i'm gonna go homeless after this no more tipster content so here we have mudahar's tweet and stone toss comics reposted it or retweeted it whatever you guys want to call it and now in case you guys still know stone toss comics is a controversial artist on twitter like, i don't know too much about it but why is this relevant well because on Twitter, if you don't agree with them, you're a Nazi. So Tipster retweeted this and said, congrats Muda, a literal Nazi retweeted you. You must be proud. Once again, this is because Mudahar exposed Keffels and Keffels and Tipster like each other. And Tipster wants to stick his tip in Keffels tip or i'm gonna stop right there before i get canceled tipster wants to do keffels tipster is in love with keffels so it's his whole defending her just because he likes now like i said i don't know too much about stone toss i don't know if he's a literal nazi as he says but like i always say the word nazi has lost all meaning because it's overused and it's been overused since like 2019 oh you disagree with me oh Makes sense. You're a, you're a fascist Nazi, dude. You're like Hitler. Are you Hitler's son by any chance? Calling someone a Nazi is a pretty big accusation. And then there's this tweet that says, Great calling Stone Toss a Nazi. What else do you have? Will Tipster comment on what Keffels told him in private? The lore just keeps going in deeper. Like, Tipster is straight up the worst person you can have fighting besides you. At that point, I would be like, just leave me alone. I, I I could do this by myself. I'm okay. Really, really. No, Tipster, I'm fine. If I went to court and there was only one attorney, one lawyer left in the entire world, and it was Tipster, I'd rather serve the 65 years I would have gone honestly no help is better than any help that tipster could give you because it looks like tipster is gone it might be forever good riddance low-key a little sad because like i will never be able to make another tipster video actually i give it two weeks before he says or does something stupid you bet i might be on that anyways with that said thank you very much for watching subscribe let's hit half a million i'll see you next time peace out